This video is a comparison video of the Lily Cup uh, by the Intamina Company. It is the size uh, 1, which is the smaller of the two sizes that they offer. And uh, if you're looking for a specific cup, you can check the description below. I have a list of the cups that are going to be um, compared against uh, to the Lily Cup. And I'll include the timestamp so you can just go ahead and jump forward to that specific cup that you're looking for. Uh, I'll leave the diameters of all of the cups um, in the description below as well. And I do want to say that because the Lily Cup is this, this um, it reminds me of a Christmas tree, but this shape, it is a little harder to get uh, an accurate read on it. Uh, because it does not sit up against the other cups uh, flat or I'm sorry I'm reaching over right now to to get a cup um, so you can see that it is a different shape and because uh, most of the other cups bow out here and the lily cup does not do that it doesn't really sit nicely or evenly when they're squeezed together but I'm going to do them anyhow, uh, just because when I did a, a squish test off screen, it did show that it either had resistance to another cup or it bowed against that cup. And I'll just um, explain now how I do that. And I first squeeze just the bottoms of the cup here together like this and show you the inside of the cups. So here's the inside of the lily cup, and you can see that it is touching on both sides. And then here is the juju cup, or the juju cup on the inside. It's not touching. I'm sorry for all the lint and a piece of dog fur there. But my cups were kind of just floating around in, in a box. So you can see um, that the lily cup is softer than the juju cup in that case and then I also test the rims because the rims are different so I place them between the palms of my hands and I squeeze them like that and I use the palms of my hands because I think it gives a more accurate amount of pressure than if I were to use my fingertips and my thumbs so if I'm fidgety, fidgeting a bit in the video. I'm sorry for that. Uh, sometimes they like to slide away from me or slip away from me uh, when I'm trying to press them together. So let's begin. This is the Blossom Cup size 2. And this is the back of the cup. and the rims and that was the Blossom Cup this is the Cup Lee uh, size 2 and I'm very sorry for all the lint it just keeps picking up or all the cups just keep picking up lint uh, from the fabrics that I'm using and they do sit in a box when when I'm not making a video, so they just kind of, you know, rub up against each other. <laughs> Share the lint. And I also realized in my last segment for the Blossom Cup that you can actually hear my clock ticking. It's that loud. I guess I never realized. I just get used to it. So here are the back of the cups. and the rims and that was the cup Lee here's the diva cup size 2 
at the back of the cups. And the rims. Oops, I'm sorry. Do that again. And that was the Diva Cup. These are the Eva Cup, size 1 and size 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do the two smaller sizes, or the small size. And then I will compare these, uh, the Eva Cup, small and large, together so that you can see um, the comparison between that if it's a different read. Uh, and, and that's it. <laughs> So again, these are the two smaller, or this is the small. And the back of the cups. And the rims. And then the small green and the large purple of the Eva cups. So the small is a little bit more firm here. And the rims. And the rims seem pretty equal. And that was the Eva cup. This is the flare cup and I did not get a pouch with this cup. So the lily cup is touching on both sides. And the rims. Oops, that doesn't feel even, sorry. And that was the flare cup. This is a Juju cup or a Juju cup, and it is the um, smaller of the two sizes that they offer. And the rims. And that was a Juju or Juju. This is the Lynette size 2 or large. I usually have uh, the small size as well, but I ended up selling my small uh, lunette and uh, because we had two of the same cup in the house, uh, two size small in the same color blue, and my daughter had taken hers to New York, so I don't have that one on hand. And the backs of the cup and the rims oops
And that was the Lunette. This is the Maluna Medium Classic. And I do have the sample ring from the Maluna Company, which is eight different cups. And they're all the classic firmness, but I have small, medium, large, and extra large um, in the regular cups and the short cups. So if you want to see a comparison video between the Lily cup and one of those cups, uh, just leave a comment in the uh, leave me a comment below, or you can find me on Facebook, and my um, Facebook page is uh, in the description below. But it does seem like the larger Maluna cups get more firm. So again, if you want to see a comparison between the Lily cup and one of those, let me know. And this was the medium. This is the size that was suggested to me in uh, from their size calculator. So the back of the cups. And the rims. And that was the Medium Maluna Classic. This is the Moon Cup, a USA version, size B, which is the smaller of the two sizes that they offer. And I don't know if this is the pouch that it originally comes in, but I purchased mine in a D stash, and that's the pouch that it came with. So the back of the cups. It's a pretty firm cup. And the rims. And that was the Moon Cup USA version. This is the Natural Mama Cup. It is the patent version, and it only comes in one size. The back of the cups. Both of these cups have uh, different shapes or unique shapes and so this one is you know kind of hard to um, know if it is accurate when I'm doing this squish test and the rims the rims I would I mean I, I trust but the back of the cups are kind of hard to read So if I'm um, pinching them like this, uh, it does feel like the lily cup on the bottom of the cup or the base of the cup is softer than the natural mama. And I'm just going to say that because um, I can't really get a good read on smashing them or squishing them together. So that was the natural mama. I'm sorry about that. This is a Nature Cup or Nature Cup. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And the back of the cups. And if you can hear that dinging, that's the school bell. So the Natura Cup seems to be more soft in the back, or the bottom of the cup. And here are the rims. And this cup does come in, or the Nature Cup comes as this color, 
uh, I thought that, uh, I, and I had purchased it in a D stash, but I thought that um, it was stained, and I had to look it up, and it does come in this kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, off-white, but it has like a yellow tint to it or so. It's kind of strange, but that was a nature cup. This is the ruby cup, and it only comes in one size. And the back of the cups. The lily cup is pressed up against itself there. And inside the ruby cup. And the rims. Let me try to adjust that. Readjust, so sorry. And that was the ruby cup. This is the Schoon Cup, size 2. And I'm not sure if this is the pouch that it comes with, but I did purchase mine in a D stash, so this is the pouch that mine came with. And I'm sorry for the lint, it just it picks up a lot of lint for some reason. Some cups just are lint magnets. And again, my cups kind of sit in a, it's an open box, but it sits in a box. And so it just kind of, uh, they rub against each other and picks up lint from all their pouches and whatnot. So the back of the cups. The lily cup. And the schoon cup. kind of hard to see down in there. And the rims. And squishing them together because they're different. Uh, the schoon cup is a bell shape. It has this um, wider area and then the lily cup comes down. I'm just going to squeeze it in my hands and let you know what I feel. Um, they're pretty similar to me in what they feel as uh, soft or firm. They feel pretty similar down here at the bottoms. So maybe the read was uh, pretty accurate that you know, they weren't, uh, one was not putting out so much resistance that it was caving in the other cup as much. So that's what I find. This is the Silky Cup from India. It comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and I have a medium with me today. And this is TPE, uh, like the Maluna. The Maluna was the only TPE cup that I had found for a, a while, and I came across the Silky Cup, and I was surprised that it was TPE as well. So inside the Lily Cup, and inside the Silky Cup. And the Lily Cup is caving in. And the rims. But the rims, the lily cup seems a little more firm there. And that was the silky cup size medium. This is the Sabel cup size two. It's such a soft cup. Keeps kind of rolling away from me when I try to 
to squish it so the lily cup is more firm and there's the sabelle touching on both sides on the inside and the rims very soft cup and that was the sabelle this is the Yuki cup size one or the smaller of the two sizes that they offer and I didn't get a pouch or there it doesn't come with a pouch sorry and this has been dubbed the rock this is the medium or the economy uh, firmness so it's the the middle firmness so there is one more uh, more firm and there is also one that is softer and I don't know how much softer it is because I don't have those so inside the lily cup and inside the yuki cup and the rims And that was the Yuki Cup. These are two no-name brands. Uh, they are dubbed the China Cheapies. And um, I do have both small and a size large. They are modeled after the Lunette. So I'll go ahead and do the small first and then I'll do the small and large against each other so that you can see. So this is the same as my um, small lunette. However, I think they're softer. So inside the lily cup and inside of the no name. And the rims. And then I'll do the small and the large together here. The inside of the cups or the back of the cups. and the rims. And those were no names. So that was the Lily Cup Compact uh, compared to some of the other cups that I have on hand at this time. I usually have the Lady Cup and the Alicia Cup on hand, but my daughter took those to New York with her, so I don't have those at this time. Um, if you're if you're wondering what the comparison is, uh, I will do it at a later date if requested. Um, but the Lily Cup overall is an awesome cup. It's made so well. Um, I did do a review on it. Check that out. Sadly, the Lily Cup didn't work out for me, uh, but it still an awesome cup and I think that a lot of people will be happy to pay um, the the price that it is set at uh, for this cup because the quality is so nice on this cup and um, if you had any additional questions you can find me on Facebook or you can leave a comment here that's fine too uh, and if you are looking for other comparisons information uh, personal reviews, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.